Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. Come on up, um, Ori and Nash and Ronan and Aurora and Raymond and Stacy and Mark, Tiffany, Christian, Claire. Come on up and sit on Grammy's quilt, all of you guys. We're going to talk about a special bird today. And its name tells both its color and what it eats. So listen for that. There are three red birds in the United States, and they are a tanager, a cardinal, and a vermilion flycatcher. We're going to talk today about the vermilion flycatcher. Vermilion is a color which says red. And flycatcher, obviously, it catches flies. So this is a very shy little bird. Almost 30 years ago, we lived in southern Arizona, in Tubac, Arizona. Tubac is the oldest town in Arizona. And it was an artist community then, 30 years ago, and is still today. We would walk from our house over to the Tubac Country Club, which was pretty much all that was there and from our house. And we would specifically see if we could see a vermilion flycatcher. We were very into birds at the time. And so we were very interested in seeing this little bird. We had to walk on a road that went through the golf course. It, there was some kind of wetlands in the golf course and around. And so once in a while, we would spot a vermilion flycatcher on a low tree's low branch. They were fast little birds and you couldn't get very close to them. But one thing was for sure, they were very brilliant red. Such a sweet little bird. They made their nests from sticks and twigs and hair. And they lived near the water always, either a river or a stream, or like at the golf course, ponds. They had several ponds. They live off insects, flies, and mosquitoes, but flies are their favorite. Vermilion flycatchers catch their food in midair. So they have to be fast. I brought a coloring sheet today and it says, God made the vermilion flycatcher. And he's an adorable bird. He is so cute. He has kind of a bandit looking um, coloring around his eye, which goes back down on his wings. And it is a light gray, light brown with just tips of little bits of white on the end. For his head, he almost looks like he has on a wig and it is red, very red. And his chest and his body are all very, very red. He is a small, very shy little bird. And it says, God made the vermilion flycatcher. So nice, color that and enjoy that page. The vermilion flycatcher lives only about five years and they were only about five inches long. They're really small, like yay big. And they, they live on flies, but will eat bees and wasps, ants and grasshoppers, beetles and bugs, and also wild berries and cactus fruits. The adult males are red and the females are varying colors. They are songbirds and they have a unique song. Now I want you to listen very carefully because you're going to hear their song. You can learn to identify birds by their song. So listen up carefully.
That's very interesting, isn't it? That sound is so different than any other bird. Their nests are about three inches in diameter and they have a maximum of about three eggs per year. It's a beautiful bird to see. God made the vermilion flycatcher. Let's thank God today for that bird. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the vermilion flycatcher. What an adorable animal. Thank you so much for the coloring that you put on it, for its habits. Lord, I pray that you will bless each child hearing this message today. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the Vermilion Flycatcher, and I'll see you next week. Bye.